Hi, welcome to this video on glacial breaks leading to devastating flooding. We have all seen the recent glacier burst in India leading to the flooding of a river valley and the destruction of the Risanganga power project. The catastrophe may have cost close to 200 people their lives. I will in this video show you an example of a glacial burst leading to a flooding. Then I'll show you a miniature model uh, that shows the force involved with water and ice flowing down a valley. And in the end, I will illustrate what may have happened to the Risanganga power project. First, a glacier is a volume of ice, which does never melt completely during summer. These are found many places in the world, for example in the Himalayas. In this sketch, you can see a glacier in a mountain valley and a lake in front. There's snow building up on top of the glacier. The glacier is pushed forward and down due to the increased weight on the top. Glaciers can on some days move as much as tens of meters per day. Eventually, the front of the glacier may break off and fall into the lake in front. This will set off a buildup of a wave. Depending on the size of the break off, the wave created can become very large. In the following, I have made a small scale model that illustrates the devastating powers of a water and glacier break in a river valley. And after the video, I'll try to illustrate what could have happened in the Indian Riseganga power project when it was hit by a glacier flooding. I will now try and give a possible explanation to the reason of the Risaganga power project flooding. This picture is from uh, the Twitter account of Richard Reki and shows the Risaganga power project uh, is in a river valley and we see further up in the valley there's a mist moving down. My interpretation is that further up in the valley we had a glacier and in front of this glacier a lake. This lake is connected to a lake further down by a river that runs over the slope. And in front of this, we had the Rishiganga power project. A glacier has broken off on the top of the river valley. The glacier will likely have fallen into the lake in front and created a wave. The wave will build up in size. Eventually, the wave in the lake will overflow the river and start to run into the next lake. The wave will move across the next leg and build up and potentially make the dam collapse. The end result is that both legs have in a matter of minutes sent a huge volume of water down the river valley and destroyed buildings in the way and killing people. I hope you liked this video with the explanation. If you liked the video, please give the video your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.